back again on this smaller backfield that I can now get in. Uh, hoping to find some nice finds out of here. Uh, see, all down here is the um, medieval parish boundary that runs all the way down. This field is where, just about there, is where I found my first Roman, and about there is where I found my first Elizabethan hammered off Groot. So there's things going off up here. Just hope I can find something out of here. Alright, let's go for it. Straight away I've got a signal. Signal 76. It's not that, but that's quite funny. Now that's there. Golf ball. Is it here? My garret is playing up big time. button, bit of gold guild on there. Right, let's carry on. Another signal. Signal six. Ben spoon. Can't believe how hard this soil is already. It's unreal. Nice spoon anyway. Whole one this time. Crack on. Another signal, this gave off a signal of 80. Cracking signal. Not sure what it is yet. Let's carry on digging. I'll let you know in a minute. Not sure what it is. Some real green patina on that. It's whatever it is, it's old. Another signal, only about three inches down, signal of 76, strange one. Solid heavy lump. Not very thick, but it's really heavy. No idea. Another signal, four inches down, signal of 60. Big old bottom. Another one. Not sure what that material is. Right. Another signal about four inches down. Signal 53. Well, I've had to give up on that backfield. The soil in there is rock hard. They've had a couple of horses in there during the winter, and they want, didn't want me in there while the horses are in there because they're only very young, which is not a problem for me. I can wait, but because they've been walking around in this field uh, when it was really wet, it's made it like this. And even though it looks quite green out there, it is rock hard with all like soil like this. A uh, bit of a nightmare for the spade, so I'm going to give it a miss and wait for. We're bound to get some wet weather. This is England. Uh, if it rains and get some damp in the soil, might be easy to dig, but I'll give it a miss for now. All right, let's crack up. Another signal, signal of 40. Fairly faint it was, uh, about three inches down. 
lump of iron think. Cheap, sure it is. Alright, carry on, a bit boring today. Right, I'm excited. Sigma 75 on the T2. Three, four inches down. <sighs> what do you think that is? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please. It's a hammered. Yes. Oh, I've got the shakes. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm just going to stop for a minute. I need to just calm myself. There we go. Hope you can hear me above this wind. 1573 Elizabethan. You can just about make a, a head out there. Fantastic. So I found that there. I'm a half crow, literally just right there. I'm going to be down here with the old uh, standard coil T2. Put this baby on and does the business. Can't believe it. Wow. That is a lovely coin, it's got a bit of a nick out the top, but I don't care, it, it's a hammered. Brady son. Fantastic. Love it. Woohoo! I'd noon a bit more. Now I just want to find a few more Roman. Yes! Still excited. It's been a bit of a non-productive day with finding loads of trash and then to get that, that just made it. it. Absolutely made my day. Made my month, my whole year so far. Second hammered. First one for this year. Well happy. Let's see what else I can find before I go. <laughs> I'll just flip the collar on this one. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Bill's looking silver. It's a sixpence. Fantastic. Victorian bonnet. That is a beauty. find a date later. Fantastic! <laughs> well chuffed. Woohoo! Now this one is really weird. So I'm getting a signal sweep across of 24 and back of 95. Crazy signal. 
I'll give it a dig okay. see what happens. I'll now see why it's going nuts. I don't have one of those for a while. Giving off an um, amazing signal. Well, there you go. Hope it brings me a bit of luck. Well, look, I've, I've had it this weekend. I've had some cracking vines. But let's carry on just a little bit longer. That's it. Coming to date. Really enjoy myself. And that's done. Excellent job. Finding me some real nice bits again. Alright, until next time. See you later for the roundup. Bye for now. Hello, welcome to the roundup. As you can see, golf ball, a couple of bits of hot rock, nice big horseshoe, gave off a strange signal, 90 to 34. Some lumps of lead this time. It's almost like a rim of an old pot, that one. But it is lead. It's been shaped that way. Another one there. Another lump there. That one's got some kind of writing, I can't quite make it out. I'll have a, look, a proper look at that later if I can. I'm not sure what it is. Some more modern bits there. Bits and pieces. That old green patina writer. It's got Brit. I presume that's British somewhere in there. Not sure what it is now. Very, very green patina on that one. I like things like that now. This is an oddly shape. I think it's lead. It's heavy enough to be there. Still not sure what that is. A spoon? Nickel silver. It's got stamped on the inside of the handle. A nice pearlescent button. Look at that. Very really nice. Way more buttons. A spoon end. It looks silver, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then Victorian sixpence. It would help if it's got right way around. Not sure the date yet, but we'll get the bag of the fine grass under that. Hopefully, I can read it. And then the best one of the day. The 1573 hammered Elizabethan sixpence. So pleased. came out. You can't beat the feeling when you find these things. Love them. Right. That's my round up. Some nice finds. A lot of rubbish as well but it's all part of the, the dig. I enjoy it. Right. Hope to be out again soon and make another video. Bye for now.